Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, truly, He is the Son of the Living God. Yahushua is the only one, the Savior of mankind, Savior of all those that believe in Him, that receive Him, that receive the shed blood of Calvary. Yahushua paid the greatest price. He took the humiliation and the mockery of this world. And the men that held Yahushua mocked him and smote him. And when they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that smote thee? And many other things blasphemously spake they against him. This same game, these same mockeries are being done today by people who profess to know him or people that proclaim to be God's enemies. As one spirit, they do it again. They mock the blood of Yahushua, his holy blood, his precious blood, his suffering, just to set us free to save one soul, to destroy the works of the devil, that we may walk as he has walked, in holiness. This blood is being mocked again, as it was then. So it is done again now by the servants of Satan. And woe unto these faces that you see right here whether they profess to know Yahushua or Jesus as they call him or whether they profess to be out of the closet Satanists they are playing the same game with the blood of Yahushua they mock the blood they blaspheme his spirit for which there is no forgiveness This man, who has sought and still seeks the destruction of this ministry and the character assassination of my pastor, Elizabeth Elijah, is connected to an entire satanic network within the Christian community, but also to the supposed atheists and out-of-the-closet satanists. This man has repeatedly sent individuals to try to infiltrate this ministry and get information posing as friends or supporters and then to backstab Elizabeth Elijah being proud of it his latest attempt of infiltration is the glutes of love formerly known as gluteus illuminatus this man who made blasphemy of the Holy Spirit his main occupation and mocks the blood of Jesus Christ made up a sock account entitled Jesus shed blood for me his order from George was to pose as a supporter and friend of Almighty Wind then reveal his true colors and use that to quote unquote prove that Elizabeth Elijah is a false prophet and discredit this ministry after all they say if Elizabeth was a true prophet she should have known this was glute right? the blood of Yahushua is being mocked in order to play these games to play these games with the blood of Jesus to play these games with the spirit of grace to play these games with the spirit and the gift of prophecy just as surely as they covered Yeshua's face and mocked him saying prophesy who smote thee what they did unto him they do unto us now in this and in upcoming videos you will see the faces of those who profess to know Jesus Christ yet are playing along with this man's sick game in mocking the blood of Jesus and to continuously attack Prophet Elizabeth Elijah. This man is now treated as a hero by the so-called Christians who are satanic infiltrators because according to them he quote unquote exposed a mighty wind because we did not reject his supposed friendship 
behind his sock account, with which he made up tons of lies to pose as someone who supported and loved Elizabeth and the Holy Prophecies. They say this man who blasphemed the Holy Spirit can still turn around and come to Jesus. They say the Holy Spirit is still available to him. Therefore they make excuses for his sins and the atrocities being done in Jesus' name. Yet they use his very atrocities to attack and condemn a mighty wind ministry. Did it expose a mighty wind? Yep, sure did. That's the way that it looks. That's the way that it looks, folks. I'm not accusing anyone. Did it expose a mighty wind? Yep, sure did. Let me ask you. How many times can a man blaspheme the Holy Spirit? Why? Why do they play along with this man? Beware of the illusion which is the majority of the Christian community here on YouTube. Many of them are Satanists, New Agers, government agents, people steeped in all forms of the occult, posing as Christians to persecute and in one way or the other try to destroy those that keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Yahushua HaMashiach. They look like a lamb, but they speak like a dragon, following in the footsteps of their father, who is Satan, who is the father of all lies. Now just a few days ago it was said that the man known as Gluteus Illuminatus, also known as the Glutes of Wrath, the Glutes of Love, Gluteus Immortalis, Gluteus Inflammatus, and he has a dozen other channels, as he keeps calling himself after the big butt muscle. Obviously he has something with butts, and maybe in a few moments you will understand a bit better why he does that. It was said that he quote unquote came out of the closet because he revealed that the account on YouTube that was called Jesus Shed Blood For Me was a sock account of glute with which he posed to be a born again believer that supported a mighty wit ministry. And he made that account for the purpose of quote unquote infiltrating a mighty wit ministry. And if we would receive him as a brother and bless him then he would prove later on, or use that as proof, quote unquote, that Elizabeth Elijah is a false prophet. Now, can you say dumb, first of all? Secondly, before I continue about this, I would say to this homosexual pervert, Gluteus Illuminatus, so you stop flattering yourself as you continue to make videos about me and against me together with your satanic buddy Mimica X Resurrected whom Yah will cut off from the land of the living there will be no resurrection for him only unto death and the lake of fire videos made against me that continuously imply that you have sexual fantasies about me that imply that you want me to be gay that I would want something from you. I say this, I am not the homosexual. You expose by your own activities that you are the perverted homosexual. So let me tell you this, as you keep using this face, which is loved by my Heavenly Father and by my Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach, who was spat upon, beaten beyond recognition, and crucified, so that this face may be saved and loved by the Heavenly Father. As you continue to use this face for your perversions, for your homosexual fantasies, I say this, I am not amused. And my Heavenly Father is not amused. And even right now, I pray in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach that today you will feel His fiery wrath breathing in your very neck. I pray that there will be no rest for you, day or night. Because there is no peace for the wicked. I rebuke you, Gluteus Luminatus, you spawn of Satan, vile, imbecile, despicable human being. 
I abhor you and your practices. And for anybody to say, oh, all right, with ministry, they hate people. We know what a righteous indignation is for people that have blasphemed the Holy Spirit. Let me ask you something, all those that keep playing this game. Oh, Gluteus Illuminatus, I will pray for you. I hope you may be saved someday. Pastor George C. T.J. Brooke, 88. And other people. Let me ask you this. How many times can a person blaspheme the Holy Spirit? Have you ever heard of Matthew chapter 12, verse 31, which says, All manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And later on it says, not in this age, neither in the age to come. What part of this don't you understand? Why are you writing comments and making videos, making excuses for this man, as if he is actually going to turn around and get saved? Oh, but then Rob Reed comes along, lift aloud, who says, Well, this man cannot blaspheme the Holy Spirit because he doesn't believe the Holy Spirit is real. While Gluteus Illuminatus confessed that he switched from being an atheist to a deist, which means he believes now in God and in the Holy Spirit. And he says that the Holy Spirit in the Mighty Wit Ministry is a demon with which he again blasphemes the Holy Spirit. Now, what are you guys' agenda? Pastor George C., I already know your agenda, but people like T.J. Brook 88, what is your agenda? What is your agenda? <laughs> Do you think God doesn't see your activities and your thoughts? The way you make excuses for evil continuously, but the way you hurt indirectly this ministry? This ministry that stands for holiness and repentance of sin, that is being beaten and crucified in the open for righteousness sake? Is that how you treat my mom Elizabeth Elijah and then call her a sister? By going to Gluteus Luminatus channel? While he just mocked the shed blood of Yeshua HaMashiach, he came out of the closet, revealed that he was posing behind this channel to prove Elizabeth was a false prophet. And what did you say? You played the whole game. You said, well, I was fooled, but then again, I am not claiming myself to be a prophet. And then later on you said, I will pray for you, Gluteus Luminatus, and I think this says so much about all parties involved. In other words, if Elizabeth was a true prophet, she would have known that this was Gluteus Luminatus. In other words, you say, she would be a psychic. Because this is what you guys do. Why are you playing this game with this man? Why are you playing along with their games, T.J. Brooke? What is your agenda? What is your agenda? Because if you use this as a weapon, this not, go all, this not only goes for T.J. Brooke 88, but this goes for all the people that play along with this game. To use this as a weapon against Elizabeth to prove she's not a false, she's not a prophet. Okay, whether they say it directly or indirectly, like T.J. Brooke 88, you prove three things: one, you're stupid; two, you don't know anything about the spirit of prophecy; and three, you don't care about the blood of Jesus being mocked. And you can dance around, you can make excuses, hide behind your camera, hide behind your audio, but it doesn't make it right. First of all, like I just said, the gift of prophecy is not a psychic hotline, okay? The spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus Christ. According to the book of Revelation chapter 19, verse 10, Worship God for the testimony of Yahushua, Jesus Christ, is the spirit of prophecy. Spirit of prophecy is meant to preach the gospel and everything included. Okay? Including the things to come. Predicting the future, what God is going to do in His timing, not this man's timing. But now you send a guy to a mighty wind, posing as somebody who supports us, and then he comes out of the closet. And then you use that to mock us, to mock the gift of prophecy as if it were a psychic hotline. You guys are in so much trouble, I rebuke all of you in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Because our enemies all went over there and they had no problem with this man with this satanist this blasphemer of the holy spirit again trampling on the blood of jesus 
blaspheming the Holy Spirit for the purpose of hurting this ministry, they use this opportunity and what this man has done as a weapon against the mighty with ministry, as a weapon to defame my pastor Elizabeth Elijah. And here they all are in the comment section. M. Love for Christ. Rob Reed, also known as Lift Aloft. Crossway OKC. Uh, uh, all of them were there. Saved by Jesus' blood. Roger. Thick Shades. The Podhead. All of them were there. Nobody cared that this man uh, mocked the blood of Jesus Christ. Only thing they cared about is bashing a mighty with ministry and uniting with glutes, uniting with the mimica, uniting with all the Satanists to hurt my mom. And nobody came in our defense except for one in this entire Christian community, and his name is Rob. Our precious brother, Iron Cross 66106. And this is a shout out to my brother. I love you, man. Because what you did out there, I love you. I truly love you. You're the only one that cared about what happened there. And you came in my defense. In the faces of the enemies, rebuking evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Yahushua. And I love it. But except for... You know, a mighty wit ministry, Iron Cross 66106, none of those that claimed to be Christians in the Christian community cared. Only thing they cared about was hurting Elizabeth Elijah. <laughs> now can you say dumb? Because the only thing you guys prove is that you have no fear of God. You mock the spirit of prophecy, treating it as a psychic hotline, as if prophets are God. Prophets are not God. God are, prophets are dependent on God, on what He shows them for His purposes in His timing. And let me ask you this, because you say, Gluteus Luminatus pawned a mighty wind ministry. Who is pawned? Because God pawned and mocked you all. As this man was used for two months to lead souls to the foot of Calvary's cross, leading them to the prophecies in the mighty wind ministry. That all point the finger to Yahushua HaMashiach, repentance of sin, holiness, keep the Ten Commandments, prepare for the coming of Yahushua. If not, you're going to be in the Great Tribulation. This is what is coming. These are the devil's schemes and purposes. This is uh, what the devil is going to do. You let people to the truth, Gluteus Illuminatus. Do you think that the devil is going to reward you for that? <laughs> because... You not only got God's wrath on you, but the devil is going to punish you at the same time for what you have done. And how could God have played and toyed with you, using you for such purposes, mocking you and our enemies, if he would have told us who you were? We had clues that you wasn't who you said you were, and if you look at the video that was made by, my, uh, by another spiritual mom of mine, Yas Little One on YouTube, she explains very well that we had a lot of clues that you were not who you said you were. But we gave you a chance. Elizabeth even wanted to call you on the phone to find out who you really were. Because a prophet only sees through a glass darkly, dependent on what God shows her. Okay? She wanted to bless you. You had a chance to feel the love in the mighty with ministry, to repent of your sins. And again, you don't do it, but you spit on this ministry. You spit on this prophet. You haven't exposed anything because we received the character that was Jesus shed blood for me with love, giving the person a chance. Okay? Proving that we are not a hate ministry. Otherwise, we wouldn't have done this. Okay? Proving that we are not a cult. You are the ones, enemies of Yahweh God Almighty, that are being played with. And woe unto all of you. Okay? Because you can make videos, you can look so good. You can make videos, preach from the Holy Bible, oh, I'm doctor this, I'm reverend that, I'm pastor this. If God does not call you a reverend or doctor or pastor, you are simply not a reverend, doctor or pastor. This goes for all of you that are indirectly hurting this ministry and indirectly hurting my mom or directly like Pastor George C. You guys are all in big trouble with God. You are held accountable for what this man has done. Mocking the blood of Jesus and then using that as an opportunity to hurt this ministry? Man, you guys, Hebrew chapter 10, verse 26. 
For if we sin willfully after we came to the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation that shall devour the adversaries. You guys all only reveal your true spirit. And I say God doesn't let anything go to waste because glute is dumb enough to lead people to the truth. And secondly, <laughs> people are going to see this. And they're going to see the depth of evil and blasphemy and what you guys are doing. And they're going to give their lives to you, Shoah HaMashiach. They're going to see that the truth in a mighty wit ministry is, in fact, the truth. It's just that. Is Yeshua HaMashiach speaking? Because if you guys, Satanists, Buddha priests, shamans, witches, New Ages, potheads, atheists, blasphemers, people that trample upon the blood of Jesus, if you guys condemn and judge this ministry, oh man, you make us look so good. You make Elizabeth Elijah look so good by your activities. <laughs> because it reveals that the spirit that is in you is not our spirit and that the corrupt fruit is uh, has nothing in common with the good fruit that this ministry brings forth and okay. then the enemies of Almighty Wit ministry they dare to say well if you would have the Holy Spirit then the Holy Spirit would have told you that this was gluteus illuminatus and out of, their own, out of their own mouths they condemn themselves because they themselves attacked Jesus shed blood for me, Gluteus Luminatus, while he was posing as someone from a mighty wind, or a supporter of a mighty wind I should say, proving that they themselves did not know it was glute, and by their own standards they don't have the Holy Spirit. Double talk, double standards, insanity and stupidity is the only thing you will find with their enemies. They have no fear of God. They lie to the Holy Spirit. They test the spirit of grace. They disrespect the spirit of prophecy. They don't know Jesus Christ at all. Okay. Uh, Gluteus Illuminatus. By the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you more from the comment section. And I want to show you what people pop up there to support this glute, this brute, this homosexual pervert. Glute, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 13. Whoso rewarded evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. Man, you try to mock a mighty with ministry, saying that, well, they prayed blessings on me for two months. You use trickery and deceit. Mock the blood of Jesus. Misuse the word of God for such purposes. All these blessings that we prayed on you, which we didn't, we prayed it upon the character of Jesus shed blood for me, with the knowledge that we had. All these blessings, because you did this deceitfully, are turned around right now into curses. You are wearing the curse of Deuteronomy 28, and the, <laughs> I think this is funny. Because our enemies, including Thick Shades, who said that Gluteus Illuminatus pawned us. No, you know who is pawned, pod hat, thick shades? You, because you made a video against <laughs> Jesus shed blood for me in defense of glutes. You were the one who was pawned. <laughs> Unbelievable, how stupid.